so now we are going to learn how we can upla upload data in bulk so we are going to use the SQL editor for it definitely you can go ahead to the table editor and do it like we did uh, by when we were adding this particular data but you know when you have tons of data then doing manually inserting everything will take some time but instead of that we have the support for SQL editor where we can write our SQL queries and all the data will get inserted uh, which we can later test on uh, test and we can basically you know we will have some data to test and work with right so for that we do this so now what we're gonna do is go to your uh, this supervised notion documentation uh, which i will be giving in the description you will find the link and i have prepared this set of data where uh, like we have the title of the book we have the genre author ratings and reviews and this is the SQL command which uh, we are going to write which is insert in two books books is our table name then we provide the column name and then we provide the values okay so this is the SQL command that we are going to use copy it from here and now paste it over here remember we are using SQL editor this one okay so we have successfully pasted it now just run the uh, this button run the uh, query and it is success no ret uh, no rows return which means it is successfully executed and there are no errors so over here what you can do is you can either like add this query to your favorites as well so let me add to my favorite and over here see we have this query okay and it is prettify sql so see he it basically prettified the entire sql queries so uh, we have such good options in the superbase dashboard okay so now let us go to the database table oh uh, no sorry table editor books table and let's see if yeah here you go we have all our 20 rows inserted in just one go so isn't it useful i mean this is worth knowing right so we have our genre rating author and reviews okay we have a good list of reviews so this is how you insert data in bulk and uh, now next what we need to do is uh, we need to basically create a new expo project now we will cover the react native side of things which is basically how we can uh, fetch data and uh, show it on the ui though like it's uh, i'm not saying that sql part is over because we need to learn more on this um, that super best side of things as well and that how we can uh, add apis how we can get our apis basically and how we can basically integrate superbase into our react native application because till now we have just seen the super base side of things right so just to give you a gist we are gonna go to our project settings and we uh, we have basically the anon key and uh, super base url so where it is let me project settings database no it is not here yeah cool here it is okay data api so we are gonna use something from here which i'm gonna show you in a while and then what we're gonna do is here you can see uh, we have this api docs as well right so now you know we have created a table and we have added data inside it now on the uh, like beneath it what superbase does is it automatically creates restful apis for uh, integration so now you can see it it has this particular api so what we are going to do is when we are going to create our react native application we are gonna uh, fetch our data using this simple uh, api and you will see we will be getting our data from our database so this this is going to be very cool so if you are excited for this uh, hit the like button and do not forget to share this video do not forget to comment on this video and obviously uh, turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future update regarding this crash course now let us see how we can work on the front end side of things